This video will show you how to use the Resume Builder. First, type in your contact information. Click on the box and type the information requested. Next, click on the box underneath Work History. Begin to type the name of the job that you have held in the past. In the past, I was a cashier. Once you type or begin typing the name of the job, a list will appear. Select the one that matches the job that you had. Now, Type the name of your employer. Type the address. The date that you started working. The date that you stopped working there. And then scroll down to select the different tasks and skills that you gained while working there. Read each one carefully. If you did not complete that task, do not click on the checkbox. Once you are done, scroll to the bottom and click Add to Work History. Do this for each job that you've had. After you have entered your jobs, you can add a degree or any coursework that you've completed. Type the name of the degree If you majored in a certain discipline, you would type that in the second box. Type the name of your school. The location. Your grade. When you began that program and when your time in that program ended. Next, you can type a list of skills that you'd like to add to your resume. Put each skill on a new line. So after you type the skill, press Enter, then type the next skill. Last, you can add references. References are people that the employer can call to find out what you're like as an employee. Type their full name and then the name of the company they work for, their position or job title, and then their contact information including their email, phone, and address. Then click Add to Resume. Now you can click I'm done, show me my resume. This is what your resume looks like. You can either email it to yourself if you type in your email address and then click Send it, or you can download it. If you download your resume, it will be a Microsoft Word file. 